Hello and welcome to another podcast with me, Troy Francis, coming at you from the bunker in London, lockdown, although slightly less lockdown than we have been for the last uh, couple of months, I guess. Things starting to ease up a little bit here, been out and about a bit more. There are more cafes and shops and things open and that's going to continue. And of course, well, I mean, I won't go into the news much, but we all know what's been happening. The big protests, the Black Lives Matter protests, which have been taking place in central London, plus various other things that have happened over here, mean that lockdown is, well, functionally over. And I think that it's not going to be long until we start to get back to some semblance of normality. And of course, the other thing is that other countries are starting to open up now. And so the opportunity for travel is now becoming much more of a reality than perhaps it, it, it was before. I mean, you could still travel, actually, throughout this whole thing. But the question was, where are you going to go that's any good? And, well, now we're in a situation where different countries are starting to open their borders and measures are starting to relax there. And it's all going in generally quite a good direction, I think. And look, I said this would happen all along, didn't I? I said all along, this isn't forever. We are going to come out of this and things are going to change. And so therefore, the the lockdown period, if you like, ideally, I hope that you've spent it, you know, working on yourself, perhaps a bit of a rest if you've been able to do that, um, taking stock thinking about your life, thinking about what you want, what you don't want, what's good, what's bad, making some decisions, learning some new skills, all of that good stuff. Because now that we're coming out of this, you can put all of that stuff to good use and rock it. And this is cool as well, right? Because it's June, it's early June at the moment. Uh, But you know, it's, it's summer, right? And I think in Europe, all of the borders are going to be open by 1st of July. Amazing news. You know, we have perhaps missed a, a little bit of the summer at the beginning, but, you know, going into high summer, everything's there to play for. So, and this really, I think, is where we're going to see this tsunami in the dating scene that I've been talking about for the last couple of months or last three months, uh, because everyone's been pent up and locked up and restrained for all of this time. And now we're being freed. And I think you're going to see some pretty crazy things happening over the next little while, which is uh, all to the good. I mean, look, I don't want to paint too rosy a picture here because obviously the the Black Lives Matter riots are still protest riots, whatever you call them, are still going on. There's a lot of unrest. And um, yeah, you know, I mean, that we are in a a funny time socially across the the Western world. But uh, I think there are some reasons to be hopeful as well. And on this show, this isn't about politics, although, you know, everything's political, society touches everything. But look, I mean, this is about looking on the bright side and building the best life for yourself that you can as, you know, taking into account whatever the prevailing conditions are. And yeah, I think... uh, Cautiously, I think we can say that we're going in a reasonably good direction at the moment. Anyway, with all of that being said, I have an announcement this week. I'm launching a new book, well, it's actually two books, called Renegade Dating Domination, which is coming out next Monday, June the 15th. So you can read it from next Monday, June the 15th. However, it's actually available on pre-order as of now. So you can go to the link beneath this show and you can actually click on that and go through and pre-order the collection right now. And if you do that, then you will be getting a discount on the full price of the of the the collection. So if you if you do that now, you'll get a, a reduction in price into next week. That reduction will hold. And at the end of next week, the price will be going up, which I'll explain towards the end. But anyway, it's a good time to uh, to reserve your copy in order to get the cheaper price right now or into next week. So, 
what is renegade dating domination? Well, listen, I've just done a live stream about it, actually. So if you saw the live stream, then apologies, because I will be repeating a little bit of that material. But um, this is going to be briefer. I'm just going to sort of make the announcement on the show this on the podcast this week. And um, yeah, then you can you can go and have a look at it and um, put that pre-order in if you want. Um, So, yeah, basically, Renegade Dating Domination is the definitive collection of Troy Francis writings about dating game, the dating marketplace up to 2019. And it features heavily material from 2017 and 2018. Okay. The golden years of my writing for Return of Kings and also the golden years of the writing that I've done for my own website as well. So what you've got here is a collection or in two volumes of over 150 articles that I've written about dating, about game, about going out and meeting girls, about the mindsets that you need to do that successfully, about the obstacles that I faced along the way that you might face as well, about rejections, about successes, about the highs, about the lows, about life in the trenches as somebody who lives the player lifestyle, okay? Everything is in there. It's a monumental collection of of writing. Um, As I say, you've got over 150 articles, but that is, there's 400 pages of this stuff, okay? 400 pages. It's a a beast. That's uh, over 187,000 words, by the way, which is longer than the novel Catcher in the Rye by Joseph Heller. And it's also longer than The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. So, there is a huge amount of material here. I was looking actually at Moby Dick. It's, it's about the same length as Moby Dick, okay? Maybe a little bit shorter, but it's around that sort of ballpark. So there's a whole wealth of material here. But the great news is it's not about a whale. It's not about chasing a whale around the sea and lots of boring stuff about the innards of a whale. This is about going out and getting laid. It's really, really cool stuff. It's exciting. It's funny. It's kind of a portrait of my life over the last few years, really. But... As I was saying on that live stream that I did earlier, what I've always sought to do with the articles that I've written <clears throat> and any content that I've done really is to is to ground it in my life because I can only really talk about my own experience. I can only really talk about what I've seen and what I've done. So it's all very honest and authentic in, in that sense. But um, then drawing out the lessons from it, drawing out the message from it so that it has value for the reader. It has value for you because you can read this stuff. You can read all the crazy, ridiculous things that happen to me. And I pull out the lessons for you to say, well, listen, this is what you should do in this sort of situation. This is how you should approach that girl. This is the mindset that you should get into before you go out and go to the go to the club or, or, or whatever it is, right? I mean, there is, as I said, there's so much material in here. It covers pretty much everything. Um, it covers day game, it covers night game, uh, it goes all over the place, really. It is um, a, a truly monumental um, collection of, of, of writing uh, about this stuff. And I, I don't know anybody else who has published anything like this, really. I, I, I'm not aware. I mean, I'm sure that maybe there are people, I don't know. The, I mean, I suppose... I suppose if you look at somebody like Rouge, for example, I suppose um, you might say perhaps he'd written as much as this, perhaps he'd published as much as this with all of his books. But of course, all of his books have been taken down now, right? They don't exist anymore. All of his books about dating and game and stuff, they've all been, uh, excuse me, they have all been unpublished because of his, um, his conversion. To, to Christianity and his decision not to to go to to be putting out this kind of content anymore. Um, I mean, Rollo Tomasi is a very prolific writer, but uh, but his stuff is not the same because his stuff is. Um, I mean, this is a this is a collection of, of articles. This is a collection of articles and essays about game. Okay, this is very much grassroots stuff. It's about going out there, going to clubs going to bars, going out into cities, into doing day game and so on and so forth, and actually meeting girls. And the trials and tribulations and the thrills and spills and the 
the the lows and the the ecstatic you know precipices of all of that okay and what you can learn from it um this isn't really about theorizing too much about the dating marketplace. I mean, there's a, there, there, I mean, sorry, the dating marketplace. I mean, about intergender relations and things like that. I mean, look, there is a bit of that stuff in there for sure. Um, but in the main, we're talking about very actionable uh, articles uh, and, and essays which teach you what you need to do to live a prolific and exciting free playboy lifestyle with a lot of options. That's basically what it is. Now, why am I putting it out now? Well, I've been going through the archives. I spent quite a long time putting this together. It's not all Return of King stuff, by the way. I should say that. And by the way, just as a backtrack, I don't know if I explained this or not. I wrote for uh, an online website called Return of Kings or ROK for a, a number of years, from about 2014 up to about 2018, 2019. Uh, it was a website that was run and published by the blogger Roosh. It was very, very big at the time. It had something like a million hits a month. Uh, so very, very big, very influential. And I was chief game writer. Yes, your humble podcaster was the chief game writer on that very, very big, very famous, very influential website. So this was high level stuff. You know, I was putting out an article every week and I wrote pretty much every week. For, for most of that period, there were times when I was sort of more, I, I, think, I think there were some times that I missed a few weeks and things like that. But I mean, there were times when I was very, very prolific, particularly in the 2017 to 2018 period, when I was going out, hitting it hard and writing up my experiences on a weekly basis. And so the material you've got there is very raw. It's very authentic. Um, I hope it's very well written. Now, people often say to me, you know, you're a great, you're a great writer and um, <laughs> you're a great writer, um, you're, you know, or they like my writing. And I hope that's the case. I mean, look, I uh, wrote professionally before I got into to writing about this stuff. So I've written for some quite big publications and things um, under, under different names and so on and so forth. I, I also have a degree in English literature um, I have a, a, a postgraduate qualification, a master's degree in creative writing. So writing has always been my thing, all right? And I, when I chose to apply it in this particular area, and that was, you know, took some soul searching before I got there, but that's what happened. Um, I wanted to try to ensure that the quality of the writing was very high. And so, so yeah, you know, um, I, I hope that that's the case. I believe that to be the case. Um, I've certainly always tried to to bring to life game and dating and what it's actually like out there to the best of my ability within the writing. And I, I think that's been successful. I mean, certainly at its peak, with when I was doing Return of Kings, I was getting something like three to 400 comments per article underneath my article from people who, who, who liked it and people who didn't, you know, I mean... I'm not saying it was unqualified praise. There were certainly enough uh, people who um, were critical of my approach and just uh, drink some tea, excuse me, mm. who were critical of my approach and, you know, were questioned my <clears throat> uh, abilities and, and so on and so forth in, in terms of game. But there were also a lot of people who were really on board and who loved my stuff and were very, very supportive. And I just want to say thank you to, to all of those people if anyone's um, listening. So, you know, but, but what I'm saying is it, it created the stuff that I was doing. And I think it was because of the authenticity of it, to be honest. It, it created a lot of buzz and it created a lot of um, um, noise on the online space, both in favor and um and some people you know bit being less favorable towards it and and that's a good thing that's a really good thing you know when you when you and that was really how i knew that i was onto something with making content about this subject matter this was how i i sort of um i sort of became aware that there was a a, a role for me in this space i suppose um, because really it was the coming together of two things that i loved one of them was was dating and going out and meeting girls um, 
and observing people as well. That's the other thing. Observing society, observing the way that people interact. Always, always love that. Always been a big fan of that. And writing. And so bringing those two things together, and particularly bringing those two things together on a forum where I would have an audience and I would, I would do a weekly article, um, was a lot of fun for me. And it was very inspiring. It inspired me both in terms of, of doing the game, uh, but it also inspired me in terms of the creating content and, and looking for specific lessons that I could pull out for the readers. Because <clears throat> as a content creator, obviously, I quite like talking about myself. You know, <laughs> it's quite fun to tell people about your exploits and the things that you're getting up to. But you also have to be conscious that people are reading this stuff for a reason and they, they want to improve their life. They want to have a better dating life. They want to meet the kinds of girls they want to meet. They want to have the freedom of choice. They want to learn. They want to learn from what you've done. They want to learn from your successes, but also learn from your failures as well. And so I was always very conscious of that, and I would always try to. Well, so try to. I think I was successful in drawing out the lessons in the different things that that happened to me. And I think one thing I'm very good at is to dis- be able to describe a situation, whether that's a situation in the nightclub or in a day game situation or in a strip club or in a, you know, bar or whatever it is, and describe the situation very accurately and then pull out the the lessons um, from it. And that's what I've done in the contents in this book. And as I say, I mean, there's a load of, there's a load of this stuff. I mean, over 150 articles, 420 pages worth of material, nearly 200,000 words. There is a lot of material here. And, you know, there is a lot of insight here, I think. And if, you know, it's a great, great document of a very particular point in my development. And I think there's a, so there's a lot of material here, which you just can't get anywhere else, right? Because on Return of Kings, Roosh has taken down most of my articles from Return of Kings. And the reason that's happened, I actually contacted him a little while ago. And I said, can you take my articles down? Because, well, for, for various reasons, I, I wanted to take back control, as, as they say, of that material. And um, I was looking at, you know, doing some different things with that material and republishing them myself. And he got back to me and he said, I've taken most of them down already. And the reason he'd done that was because he, as you likely know, had converted to, to Christianity and he'd made a big lifestyle and change in terms of his personal and professional life. And he decided that he no longer wanted to be somebody who published material of this kind. Um, and he, as a result, took down most of his own old books. They're no longer available. And in terms of Return of Kings, which was his website, he took down a lot of the material that related to dating and game. <clears throat> Um, and, um, yeah, and I, I think there's a few of my articles still there that are uh, some things more about society and, uh, about, about movies and, and books and things like that. And, um, I don't know from people other than me what's on there, but I would imagine it's more the political articles, maybe some of the things about, uh, fitness and health, grooming, stuff like that. But he has taken down a whole load of stuff there. So, You can't get the contents of Renegade Dating Domination on Return of Kings anymore because the all of it, I think, there's pretty much all of it that's in the book, in the two books, has been removed from Return of Kings. And the other stuff that's in there that makes up a big, big proportion of book two, volume two, is material from my own website, realtroyfrancis.com, and that material has also been taken down. That material's been down for over a year now. So this is all archive stuff that you can't get anywhere else except in this collection. Now, the other thing that I need to explain is that, as I say, this collection, Renegade Dating Domination, it's actually in two volumes, volume one, volume two. Now, volume one was actually previously published under the name 
how to get hot girls or how to get hot girls into bed. And that book is available currently within Renegade Dating Blueprint, my collection. So what that means is that all the people who've got Renegade Dating Blueprint actually own 50% of Renegade Dating Domination already. So what I'm going to do is those people, I'm going to contact everybody who's got Renegade Dating Blueprint and I'm going to give them 50% off the cost of uh, Renegade Dating Domination because effectively they've got 50% of the content already. So if, you've, if you're somebody who's got Renegade Dating Blueprint, you will get an email from me and you'll get a code and you'll be able to get the new collection for 50% off, okay? Because effectively for you, and you, maybe you haven't even read How to Get Hot Girls yet, but effectively for you, um, the new material you'll be getting is volume two, which is still 220 pages long. It's still nearly 100,000 words. I mean, there's a massive material there, but I don't want to be unfair. So you're going to get a 50% discount because that's only right, because you've already got that first volume. The reason I'm doing this, by the way, is because... Um, I don't really like the title, How to Get Hot Girls Into Bed. It's a little bit vulgar. I don't particularly like the cover. Um, yeah, so, you know, and, and also as well, I wanted to, to bring it all into one product. I wanted to bring it all into one collection uh, so that it's sort of like, it, it, it's just all in the one place, if you know what I mean. So um, I, I much prefer Renegade Dating Domination as the title and all of this material from the return of King's Days and from, um, you know, the 2017, 2018 of my website will go into this collection. So there's not, it's not, it's not bitty. It's all in the one, the one thing. Okay. Now, if you haven't already, oh, and the other thing to say is if you happen to have How to Get Hot Girls and you bought it on Amazon, then if you send me proof of purchase, I will also give you 50% off the price of the combined bundle, the price of Renegade Dating Domination, because that's only fair. So anybody who's already got how to, get, how to Get Hot Girls, they'll get a 50% discount. Fine. Everybody else pays full price, except for the first week, you'll get a 25% discount. So... If you are interested in purchasing and you go to the pre-order now and you click on it, you will get volumes one and two for $49, okay? And that price will hold until the end of next week, which is June the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, June the 19th. And after June the 19th, the price is going to go up to $69. So right now and next week, you get a $20 reduction on the price of the, of the collection. But that $20 reduction will only last until the end of the, the pre-orders, um, the end of this week, and then, and then until the 19th of uh, June. And then after that, it goes up to 69 So I would encourage you, if you are interested in getting hold of the collection, that you pre-order today, and you then have secured that $20 off. You've secured that 25% discount on the material. I hope all of that makes sense. I mean, it's sort of like, I, I, don't, I don't like to have to go into a big explanation like that. And I, th I think it's pretty straightforward. If you've, if you've got any issues you don't kind of understand what I meant, then do drop me an email, troy at realtroyfrancis.com, and I'll explain it to you. But um, I, th I think it makes sense. I mean, the reason I'm doing it like this, as I say, I, I wanted to repackage that first book because, and I want to bring it all into one big collection. So that's what I'm doing effectively. But don't worry, if you've already got that material from How to Get Hot Girls, you will get the whole thing for 50% off. So it's fine. Um, but going forward, people will have to pay $69 for the, for the, big, for the whole package because... Um, yeah, I mean, you know, there is a hell of a lot of material in there. It's probably, I mean, should I be charging more than $69? Probably, to be honest. Um, maybe it'll have to go up again, I don't know. But, um, but anyway, at the moment, you can get it for $49, which is a great deal. Uh, yeah, you know, and um, 
jump on board, guys, because it, I, I, you know, I'm really proud of this stuff. I mean, as a content creator, as a writer, it was just an incredibly fertile, exciting period in my life. There was just a lot going on in my life, in terms of game, in terms of dating, in terms of sex, in terms of travel, in terms of learning new things, having these crazy experiences and so on. And all of that is recorded in here in a way that is helpful to other people, in a way that teaches other guys how to learn from my mistakes, how to, and how to, I don't know, how to, how to just have a great time, basically. Um, so yeah, I, there's, there's loads and loads of stuff in there. Um, over 150 articles, everything really you need to know about dating game, the dating marketplace, how to ace it, etc., etc., etc. Do pre-order now because when you do that, you've secured that uh, 25% discount. Um, and um, that's it, really. Renegade Dating Domination. I've got a great uh, new cover done for the two books. I've got a great uh, logo that was done by my neon logo designer guy, which looks fantastic. Really excited about it. It's, a, it's going to be Gumroad only. Oh, by the way, as well, it's, it's going to, you're going to get it in different formats. So I'm going to do it in uh, PDF and also uh, in a, I think, Mobi, uh, so, that it's, uh, so that it can go onto Kindle. Um, I may look at another format as well. I don't know. But anyway, you're going you're gonna to get that package. Um, yeah, it is a fantastic, fantastic, monumental collection of of work i don't think anybody else has really done anything of this scale nobody else has been crazy enough to do this much game and to write this much about it that's what it comes down to so <laughs> if only if only for that reason you should you should get it just to just to wonder at the the supreme obsessiveness and addictiveness that has enabled me to create such a such a body of work you know it's um it's uh, i marvel at it myself and i'm i'm standing here having written it but anyway there you go uh any questions on that do give me a shout if you're on youtube you can put it the question in the comments below if you're on youtube please hit subscribe if you're not on youtube please hit subscribe on my youtube channel because that's where the bulk of my content is going right now and i want to grow that channel um so you know it just helps me out helps me get the message to more people helps me to continue to put out this world-class content. Uh, click below to pre-order Renegade Dating Domination, which you will have access to on June the 15th. And beyond that, if you have any questions or any comments or anything else, do give me a shout. I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.